Let's look at how to create and set up a webshop page. Start by creating a new page and call it webshop. For organization, I'm moving the webshop right below the home page, and then to create a submenu that includes the products, I'll move those product pages under the webshop. Now if we go back to the editor, we can see that the submenu was automatically created, and we're on the active page, Wedding Cakes. Next, I'm going to build out the page by using either the product or the product gallery element. Simply drag the element onto the page. Next, choose the products you want to display. You can add existing products or new products. Let's add a new product. Enter a product name and description, upload an image, and set the price. You can set a discount price and also edit the inventory, setting it as unlimited or how many you've got in stock. When finished, click Save. Repeat the above process for any additional products you wish to set up. And when finished, click Save. Here you can see the product we set up with a discounted price and how it's displayed. Now let's go to the Webshop tab. From here you can see the Orders Overview. For each order, you can see the status, customer, order date, payment method, the price, and order number. You can also see the Customer's Overview, which shows their email address, name, and whether or not they have an account. The Products Overview shows the products we added to our page, and is also where you can go to add additional products. And finally, we've got the Settings Overview. From here, you can enable the Shopping Cart, which activates the Order button. You can also change the currency. Additional settings you can change are for the order form, payment methods, VAT, emails, coupons, and several other features.